<laughs> Mate, I've got a great new bit of cooking equipment. It's a blowtorch. What do you reckon? I can see you out on fire, Eduardo. Yeah, mate, it's not even for a rare steak. In fact, I use a blowtorch to make a great dessert called a bomb Alaska. Mm -hmm. Well, it's an old French thing, you know, bomb, because the old-fashioned bombs I used to throw, yeah. Alaska, because it's frozen. It's really easy. Take cake, ice cream, make some meringue on top, burn it off. It's a real guy kind of dessert, and it'll take you less than 10 minutes to make. Now, while Miguel cuts a couple of discs out of the Madeira cake, store-bought's fine. I'm just going to line these little bowls with some cling film so I can pack them full of ice cream. You see, the cling film will help it to come out easily mm -hmm. later on. Then we invert it on top of the cake, which makes our dome. Now, while the cake and ice cream stacks chill down, we need to make our meringue. It's the icing on our cake. So, Miguel, I need five egg whites into the bowl here. Mm -hmm. These we spotlessly clean so the meringue won't collapse. And seeing as we're making Italian meringue, I better make a syrup. For it, we need 200 grams of caster sugar. Then we add 100 mils of water. Cook it to 118 degrees centigrade. It's really important while the syrup boils to brush it down occasionally with a clean brush dipped in cold water. To prevent sugar crystals forming, they can interfere with the meringue. Now, the other crucial bit, you need to cook it to exactly 118 degrees. A fancy digital thermometer like this will set you back about 100 bucks. A home one, less than 10, but make sure you use one. When the syrup's nearly at temperature, Miguel, start beating those egg whites. Once the egg whites are at a stiff peak, just pour in the syrup in a steady stream and let it beat until it's cold. Well, that consistency looks absolutely beautiful. What do you reckon, mate? Oh, nice and silky. Excellent. Now, all we've got to do is pipe the meringue onto the outside of the ice cream, and the okay. bomb is good to go. Here. These guys, a couple of bags in any homeware store. Absolutely, you, you find them all over the place. I'll get the ice cream, mate. There we go. Now for the fun part. Come on, let's light her up. Right. Yeah. The smallest amount of heat is going to caramelise the meringue beautifully. It's a highly decorative effect and a bit of fun. Now, if you don't have a blowtorch, don't be too concerned. You can just whack it in a really hot oven. That's the old-fashioned way. Otherwise, put it under the grill. It works an absolute treat. What do you reckon, buddy? Absolutely marvellous. We're going to need a couple of forks.